my name is Gail Berry. I'm an expert on baby massage and yoga and I'm the founder of Blossom and Berry, which provides international teacher training in baby massage and baby yoga to students across the world. I just wanted to pop on and talk to you a little bit about why baby massage is so much more than just learning a touch-based routine with your baby. So a lot of people come to baby massage because they want to learn how to soothe their baby and then they want to feel empowered to help their baby with like little minor ailments that babies have, such as colic, uh, wind, constipation, if they have snuffly noses, which is causing them to feed, have feeding problems, sleeping problems, colds, teething, all of these things. And the, the strokes that you learn on, on baby massage courses are really, really useful to help to soothe and calm your baby and help you to feel empowered to help your baby when they're in pain. So there are lots of fantastic reasons to learn um, baby massage and get these practical techniques to help you when you are at home. And that's how I discovered baby massage myself because my daughter had colic, I went along to a class because I was desperately wanting to support her during this really difficult time and I learned an amazing colic routine which we teach at Blossom and Berry to help to support her during that time. So there, that is one amazing reason to come along to a baby massage class. But the second reason to come along to a baby massage class is because baby massage really helps to communicate to your baby that they are loved, celebrated, welcome and accepted. And this is something which I am so passionate about because I believe that we are here as parents to support our babies and to communicate how loved they are because babies learn about the world through our actions, through what we do, through what we say, and through how, how we behave. And so we can use touch and physical contact to communicate from birth that babies are really loved and accepted. So when you're uh, practicing baby massage with your baby, you are bringing together some of the key components that help to, to meet your baby's nurture needs. So all babies need to be nurtured to reach their full potential. And there are certain things that we use during baby massage that really can help to support your baby's emotional and mental development, as well as all of those physical things I mentioned earlier on. So when we massage our babies, we look at our babies, we do something called baby gazing, so we connect with our babies and babies learn um, to recognise our faces, they, they really, um, their pupils dilate when they have eye contact with us because it fills them with joy. And the reason is because babies have got connection, they realise that there's somebody there who understands them, who's there for them, who's listening to them and who's supporting them in this world. And also when you, some studies suggest that when you, uh, you, you give eye contact to your baby, they also produce this wonderful love hormone called oxytocin that helps babies to relax it helps you also to relax and helps to bond you together as well so that's why when we look into our baby's eyes sometimes you have this rush of love because it is this oxytocin effect in the body and it's that sense of connection so we have eye contact we also have touch which is the way um, to communicate to your baby that they are safe and secure so all babies are wired to have physical contact with their parent from birth. It's through our bodies that we help babies navigate the world. It's through our bodies that we help babies to understand where they are and within their environment. And babies, um, babies because we're mammals, we're hardwired as carrying species to be in close proximity to our caregivers. So that's why babies most of the time love being held, love being touched, love skin to skin because it gives them that sense of security. So when we're using touch in baby massage, not only are we helping to produce oxytocin again, which is the love hormone that's going to bond you and relax you, you're also giving them that sense of being seen, being heard, being listened to and being connected to another individual. And remember, babies have come from the womb where they have spent the whole time having a wonderful massage and being physically connected to you. So it's just, you know, natural that your baby wants to continue that physical connection with you for as long as they possibly can before they become independent. 
I've mentioned oxytocin. Again, that's a big reason to practice baby massage with your baby. Uh, a touch is the greatest way to produce oxytocin. Oxytocin will help to um, make your baby feel relaxed because it, it, it supports relaxation responses in the body. There's plenty of research studies that show that um, the presence of oxytocin can improve sleep, it can improve digestion, it supports the immune system. And for your body as well, you could, when you touch your baby, your body produces oxytocin. Oxytocin is the mothering hormone, so it connects you more with your instincts, with those motherling feelings, with connection with your baby. It supports the contraction of your womb, it supports breastfeeding, and it's just there really to guide us into um, motherhood through our body's natural chemistry. So motherhood needs the natural chemistry of um, these hormones, but it also needs obviously connection and community as well to extend that. So oxytocin is really important as well. We use um, another aspect of why baby massage is so good is we also talk to our babies all the way through massage. So we are checking in with them. And again, that makes us, um, it communicates to our babies that they're being heard, that they're being welcome, that they're being noticed, that they're important and that sense of self-worth and importance starts really from the early days of uh, after you've been born. It's not something which we do develop later on. Nought to three is the time when this emotional um, development is so important. So um, we always check in with our babies, we never make our babies um, practice massage when they've when they've um, when they've had enough or they're tired or they don't want to and by using songs in, in um in massage we're also helping to teach babies about language communication rhythm all of these wonderful things as well and communication and verbalization and vocalization with baby or baby ease as it's sometimes known is again so important with a process called serve and return with babies which helps to wire babies brains so when baby makes a noise or a sound and then we repeat it back to them it helps to reinforce the wiring in babies brains around Around language and around connection as well so there's lots of information on serve and return that you can look into if you're interested in that and then finally also baby massage helps us to print our smell on baby because the oils that we use don't have any smell so it's a great way for your baby to start to recognize you through smell and for you to recognize your baby and smell is one of those senses that sometimes is not really um, given a lot of airtime compared to visual or sound of your voice but it is so important there's some, nothing nicer than snuggling up with a blanket when it smells of someone that you love um, or you know like if you put on an item of clothing of someone that you love it's just that lovely sense of being enveloped in who they are so we can use that as part of our massage um, routine as well. So I hope you have found that um, you know, I've told you what all of these basic, how all these basic nurture needs of your baby are being met through baby massage that you'll be encouraged to have a little practice yourself. You can either join a class or look, look up one of our videos online. Um, <clears throat> you can create your own routine with your baby. You can find out some um, safety points around massaging and what you need to, to do, what you need to use, what time of day, all from our website. So you can visit us at www.blossomandbay.com to get some more information. But I would just encourage you to use any point during the day as a way to communicate love to your baby through touch because it's your baby's most developed sense and it's through touch that we can really connect and that's where the magic happens. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Catch you later. Bye.